Hey Gator fans, I am here with Freddie Wiebe from Florida Victorious. He is a well-known Gator, partners with Steve Spurrier at Spurrier's, and Freddie, there are some incredible experiences that you guys are offering for the spring game, which we're going to let people know about here shortly. If you guys are going to the spring game, let me know right down in the comments. I want to know where you're going to be tailgating. Are you going to the game? Let us know. I am 100% going. I cannot wait. Okay, Freddie, let's talk about how you ended up at Florida Victorious. It's not like you really had the free time. You didn't need the money. So why do you feel so passionately about NIL that you just had to jump in? Great question, Ali. Thanks for having me. Uh, Truly, this comes down from loving the Gators. I'm a big fan. I've always worked with the Gators throughout my different businesses. I want the Gators to win. You know, I see a banner in the stadium. It says 47 national championships in all the sports. I want to see 48 and 49 and 50. And, you know, I, I, I'm saying what every Gator fan wants to say. We want to win. We want to win again in football, basketball, gymnastics. And to win, you know, NIL has come in. It's changed things. Uh, it's really it's turbulent right now. People don't understand it. Some embrace it. Some don't. At the end of the day, if you want the Gators to win, you have to help the Florida Victorious. We're the partner of the Florida Gators. We're the big collective that does the job, collects the money and the funds. We fund over 200 athletes at the University of Florida. We fund 11 different sports. We want to fund more and help them win in all sports. And obviously this weekend, it's about the orange and blue game and about football and all the other sports as well. And we're doing a lot of cool, exciting things uh, for Gator Nation. So you talked about the NIL landscape being turbulent, and it really is. And I think you're right that people don't fully understand. And part of that is because it's ever changing. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about what has changed just even in the last year or so? I mean, the NIL was voted in by the Supreme Court, I think, in the summer of 21. And it's been evolving and changing. And some schools embrace it. Some don't want to embrace it. Some are trying to embrace it. But at the end of the day, it's here to stay. It's here to stay. It's the law. It's the land of the. It's the law of the land, and you know we just have to pivot with it. The Florida Victorious was born in April of last year. Actually, tomorrow will be our one-year anniversary. I joined about three months ago, and really, as a director of revenue, my job is to raise money. Uh, we have a team of eleven, and we're doing that. And right now, the part of the plan is to build awareness, rebuild our brand, and let people know what Florida Victorious is. But the notion is, if you want the Gators to win, you have to support the Florida Gators. I mean, you have to support Florida Victorious, and it's easy to do. People think, oh, I have to give thousands of dollars or this or that. You can join to $15 a month. You know, I tell people this every day. If every Gator fan gives 15 bucks tomorrow, you know, we, we reach what we need to reach to make the Gators win. We've done a good job with the donor base. Now it's time to get more membership. It's time to get uh, corporate sponsorships. We have a team of 11 ready to do so. But, you know, the NIL is here to stay. The rules will change. The Congress, I'm sure, after the election will be involved. Uh, but whatever it is, what's not going to change is we need to raise money. And it's going to take the entire fan base to do so. And truly, the you know fans, former athletes, Former coaches need to embrace NIL. I know they don't. Some do. Some are starting to. People are start, starting to buy into the campaign we're doing and seeing the billboards and the radios and all that. And, and that's going to continue. But at the end, we all win when the Gators win. And we all win when everyone embraces it. And even if you don't give money, just support it. Say, you know what? Things have changed. The laws are different. The NIL is different. It's not going away. It's not. Well, and you know, you've already pointed out that the the tie between winning and NIL is just there. If you look at the programs that have won recently, they have really strong NIL support. But I think one of the things that sometimes fans don't necessarily understand is this is really a partnership between the athletes and the collective. It's not just the collective handing money to these athletes. They are doing things for this, right? They are involved in the community. They, uh, they're they giving their time and effort and energy. And so it really is a give take. And I think that that's an important part of this. What are some of the things that our athletes are doing with Florida Victorious? We Again, we have over, over 200 athletes are part of the Florida Victorious. And what we're doing is a lot of cool nonprofit items. We partner with 16 different charities here in town. And 
down the road, as we build more money and bring more funds, we're going to go outside Gainesville as well, whether it's helping build a house for Habitat for Humanity or feeding, feeding the hungry at the local food bank or going to the Ronald McDonald House and preparing food for breakfast and lunch. We're doing that on a weekly basis. 16 different nonprofits are part of our foundation. Athletes are doing work for them, volunteering for them. And this is how every successful business operates. If you want to succeed as a business, you go out and help the communities you are in. And the community will help the businesses that support the community. So enhance, you know, we're doing what we need to do to make Florida Victorious a successful business. Yes, we have a little bit of negative aura around NIL. Yes, there were some headaches with other collectives before us. Yes, half of the population probably doesn't understand what NIL is. It's our job to educate them. And we're doing that by being on your show, for example. This goes a long way to reach in Gator fans and tell them, hey, guys, if you want the Gators to win, just like us, we want that winning to, to happen. We have to go through the Florida Victorious. And, you know, maybe maybe we do fund 500 athletes. You know, maybe we fund all the sports. There's 21 sports. We're only funding 11. We want to do so, but it's going to take the dollars to do so. And as we get there, and we will get there, along the help of every Gator, every Gator Nation member, we all win together as well. Well, and the next big opportunity for Gator fans to get involved is Saturday at the spring game. I have seen the rundown of all of the super cool things that you guys are doing on Saturday that's available to members. But tell us about some of the cool activities. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. We've worked so hard. We've partnered with the UAA, their marketing department, and really to make this happen hasn't been easy, but we're here. And this weekend, Gainesville is going to be the peak of the state. You know, we're expecting to have one of the highest attended orange and blue game in a long time. I remember 70,000 during the Urban Meyer era. I think we're going to beat that. I really do. Uh, if you live anywhere in the state, you know, Gainesville is a couple hours, an hour away, drive up. Uh, admissions is free. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll see the entire scrimmage between the orange and blue team. The team will be divided into two, playing against each other. It'll be a full game. Uh, game uh, kicks off at 1 o'clock. And from 10 to 1, we are going to be, we'll have the largest tent along with the Townsend tent and the North End Zone. You can visit both if you want to. We'll have lots of fun from Florida Victorious. We're bringing a lot of athletes. Uh, confirmation so far, we have to, Coach Golden will be there. The gymnastics team will be there. Coach Roland will be there. Coach Kelly Ray will be there. We have members of the women's basketball team. All the gymnastic players will be there. You can come meet them, talk to them. Uh, Walter Clayton will be there and so many more. Uh, the big Florida Victorious stand, look for the big Florida Victorious flag. You can uh, stand in line and win items. We're giving away thousands of items to the fans, educating them what Florida Victorious is. Uh, we have a membership station. We have a station for you to get your wristband for I'm going to say next, which is very, very cool. Oh. And then we also have a members area for all the fans as well. Uh, second thing, post-game, we have a meet and greet. This is huge. It's never happened before. After the game, you'll be able to walk into Steve Spurrier Field and meet the players. The entire team will be there. The coaches will be there. Coach Napier will be signing autographs, taking pictures with the fans. We have over 1,000 uh, registered members so far, and we're looking to add probably another 1,000. So as soon as the game ends, if you are a member of Florida Victorious, Come get your wristband at the tailgate between 10 and 1, and you'll be able to enter the field, meet Lagway and Mertz and the entire team. Uh, they'll be there for about an hour or so, and uh, it's a really a true meet and greet and autograph session. And uh, again, this will be through the Florida Victorious. We'll have a booth for you to get your wristband. All you have to do is register, be a member. Again, membership starts at $15 a month. That's what it takes to join Florida Victorious. If you want to give more, we'll take it. You can go bigger. We have memberships at $25, $96, and $250 as well. Third item, we have an awesome uh, contest on the field at the end of the first quarter between Tommy Townsend and Johnny Townsend, both former punters. Yeah. Uh, they'll each be punting a ball. We have a Florida Victorious target. It's called Florida Victorious Punning for a Cause. And the ball that comes closer to the target uh, the winner will, will be donating $2,000 to their charity of choice. I know Johnny will be the UF uh, Health uh, Pediatric Hospital. That's uh, his cause. And then if Tommy selected the Special Olympics, so we'll make a donation on their behalf. And this is coming from a donor of the Florida Victorious. 
And then lastly, we're giving away a Gatorized, fully skinned, brand new 2024 Chevrolet Silverado. I saw this in person at the baseball game. It is so cool looking. And I, my husband has been gunning to win this truck. If we win this, this parked in front of our house. Oh my goodness. I couldn't imagine it, but it is the coolest truck ever. It's, it's a cool promotion, kind of collaborating with uh, the, the UIA and the marketing department to do this. This is what spring game should be, right? Have fun, have excitement. And we're trying to do that as Florida Victorious and help the Gators have an amazing orange and blue game. But yes, the truck is, is will be on the field. You can come check it out from 10 to 1 uh, at tailgate. It'll be there. And then we're moving it to the field. And the end of, end of the second quarter, three people are going to be selected from the fan base. You have to be, a, you don't have to be a member. You can just click and, and register today. We have thousands of registrations and you can still register till midnight tonight. Today's the deadline. Uh, go to floridagators.com forward slash Silverado. Just fill your name, your contact. You'll be contacted right before the game. You go to the field, three people will join. One key will work and you drive the truck home. That is so exciting. This is going to be... Um... Uh, this is the spring game that I'm the most excited about in probably at least a decade. I think that it's going to be packed. I love that it's back on a Saturday. I don't know about you, but I am a fan of Saturday spring games. I'm glad it's not on Thursday night. Um, but I think this is an awesome opportunity for our fans to really get an inside look at how Victor Florida Victorious works, rub elbows with some of their favorite players, and uh, you know, ensure that those athletes remain Gators. Absolutely. I mean, I, there's also an alumni tent right next to us, the Townsend Foundation. There'll be over 100 former athletes there. Yep. If you want to stop in before the game, Gainesville is only an hour or two away. Drive up. The game is free. You can meet all these former athletes, the alumni, and enjoy your Gators. This is the catalyst for a great season. Yes, we have a tough schedule. Yes, people are not expecting us to win. But guess what? It starts with winning. And if we play well and play hard and, and execute on the field, which I know Coach Naper is working hard on, and we keep supporting the Gators and bringing talent in, we all win. And this is what this is all about. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today, Freddie. Where can people find more information about Florida Victorious and sign up prior to even getting to Gainesville on Saturday so that they can make sure that they get to meet the team? That's a great question. Highly recommend. You don't have to stand in line to register at the tailgate tent, the Florida Victorious tailgate tent. Go to www.floridavictorious.com. Click on the membership button. It's a pretty simple one-minute procedure, and you become a member, and you support your Gators to win. Again, www.floridavictorious.com. I want to add one more thing, if you allow me. Of we course. do have a big donor, a Gator donor. That's oh, coming. this is that we buried the lead. Yeah. This is the most uh, important part here. That's right. All dollars raised through the 14th Sunday at all the sports, this donor is willing to match all the money we bring in up to half a million dollars. So if we can raise half a million dollars through the memberships, through sponsorships, through joining the Florida Victorious, you know, we will gain another half a million dollars for our beloved Gators. All right. Well, that's a challenge right there. Everybody that watches this channel, if you're a Gator fan, go ahead, sign up for Florida Victorious right now. It helps support our athletes both on and off the field. Let's get that second half a million dollars. I think we can do it. I appreciate your time and I for sure will see you on Saturday, Freddie. I'll see you on Saturday. Thank you again for the opportunity. Go Gators.